Today, I'm going to tell you why society, the people in this Western country, fear this one thing. Let's talk about it. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Closer to God Ministries, where we push forward in the kingdom of the Most High Yah. Closer to God Ministries is for those who really want to learn true submission, true obedience, reverence, and a fear of the Most High Yah. One thing about Closer to God Ministries is I'm not afraid to push the envelope. There's a lot of things that go on in the world that need to be addressed, but religious leaders won't talk about it. Closer to God Ministries, I'm pushing forward. Each man must be convinced in his own mind. I'm going to give you the disclaimer. This is not for everybody. If you're somebody that has a soft spirit, a sensitive spirit, you don't like that hard truth that can set you free, this is not for you. But if you choose to stay tuned, don't just run off on the plug with my content. Hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, turn your notifications on so you can see when I'm posting new content. And then if you really want to support the channel, check out the doggone link in the description for some exclusive discount codes. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Glory to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spirit Filled episode. Today, we're back at it in the trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, there is one thing that is feared in this Roman Greco culture, this westernized culture that we live in, and you may not even know it. You may see things happening and think it's the way of the future, but you don't know why you know certain things are happening and why the destruction of the home is like a hidden agenda of Satan. And when we talk about the one thing that is feared most in this country, in this society, we're talking about righteous masculinity, righteous men of the most high Yah. Before we go any further, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, cause I keep that heat coming righteously. Man, when we talk about righteous masculinity, you're talking about a man that has been filled with the spirit, the Ruach Kashadesh of the Most High Yah, of the Father. You're talking about a man that can't be moved. You're talking about a man that has discernment, can see through the nonsense. You know, you're talking about men that establish order that's pleasing to the Most High Yah established structure that's pleasing to the most high Yah. They don't, they don't give in to lip service. When I say righteous masculinity, I'm not talking about the 95 to 99% of these preachers out here that'll just tickle people ears in order to get money. No, I'm talking about men that have the masculinity that the most high Yah wanted them to have. I'm talking about a man that don't care. You can't, you can't buy him off with money. I'm talking about a man that you cannot get to leave his family. Righteous masculinity. That's what I, that is what I, I teach on this channel, amongst other things. Righteous masculinity. You know, not this soft, effeminate, go with your feelings and emotions, not having any backbone, happy wife, happy life type stuff. No because you can't find any of that nonsense is where the Most High Yah prescribed men to do that or commanded men to be like that. The Most High Yah didn't command men to be like Ahab. And you'll, you will slowly realize as you come into this righteousness as a man or a woman, as a woman, you will realize that righteous masculinity is truly rare, must be protected because Scripture talks about, you know, being a friend of the world, meaning you're an enemy with the most high Yah. Let's get into some of these scriptures because this, this is, I tell you why they fear it, why they don't want anybody speaking that truth. They just want people, you know, pretty much like bread and circus. Go back and look up bread and circus. Google that, that phrase. They want people watching the news and believe in whatever is there. That's how they want the men and just agreeing. Yep, 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 whatever it is that they're saying, you know, and whatever agenda they're pushing, they want men to doggone just receive it all and go back and spread it. It's complete nonsense, bread and circus. James chapter four, verse four, you adulterous people, do you know, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? 
Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. First John chapter three, verse 13. Do not be surprised, brothers, that the world hates you. First John 2, 15. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the father is not in him. First John chapter five, verse 19. We know that we are from God and the whole world lies in the power of the evil one. Romans chapter 12, verse two. This is about self-autonomy, thinking in the spirit of the Most High Yah, testing the spirits that this wicked society throws at us. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. See, you got a lot of these pulpit pimps that will use the word love and disregard everything else in scripture about what it says about sin. And we're supposed to hate the same thing that the most high y'all hates. See, uh, see, righteous masculinity is not going around hating people, but you realize the fact that they're under demonic attack. You realize that you're fighting for the kingdom. You realize that people are walking around with some corrupted hard drives. And because of that, your radar is very tuned in and sensitive to the will and the, the way of the most high y'all. And not only you're trying to leave a righteous legacy so your seed can be blessed for generations and generations to come. But you look at all this nonsense going on in the world where they want, you know, people to believe that men can have babies. And you got some men out there thinking it's possible. You got some women out there supporting it. You wonder why all these wicked modern feminist women need deliverance, want to remove the man out the picture. Let me get the baby without the man. No, you can't have it. Righteous masculinity is against that. Submit yourself as I have submitted myself unto the Lord. But I tell you, we live in a society that don't want to hear a man speak in that vigor. They just want men to be emasculated, be all soft, not having no backbone. I'm here to tell you, man, I know what comes with what I'm saying. I don't give you no ear ticklish prophetic word just to get views. I tell you what the Most High Yah says believers need to hear and people that don't even have faith needs to hear. I want you to think, what is the reason that the Most High Yah wants righteous masculinity so they can be a light amongst the darkness in the world? All this darkness, people are asleep. I'm talking about eyes open, breathing, walking around, working, but can't exercise self-autonomy, don't have discernment. You know, a lot of men in relationships don't have discernment, don't have a relationship with the Most High Yah. And this is why they get ran through the ringer. But mass, righteous masculinity, you can't buy that. There ain't nothing this world can offer me in order for me to step away from my righteous masculinity. I realize what a blessing it is to have the spirit that the Most High Yah intended to be in a man. Not this other spirit, this doggone demonic spirit that comes from Hasatan, comes from Satan. Man, righteous masculinity know why, you know, they know the truth. They're truth seekers. They just don't believe whatever is told. The truth shall set you free, as scripture says. A lot of these people in society can't handle the truth. They're still battling their emotions and feelings. They haven't taken every thought captive. See, righteous masculinity means I'm gonna have order in the house. I'm gonna have structure. I'm gonna have discipline. All these hissy fits won't be thrown. That's why the world don't support it. This means you will raise your sons and daughters to please Yah, not to marry into disobedience. I would never allow my daughter, while she's under my covering, to go out in this doggone world and commit some of these whoredoms and doggone, you know, to be as immodest as the modern woman is. Now you're going to see why. Why they'll send council culture after men that exhibit any kind of masculinity that goes against the grain of what is being pushed amongst the masses. Righteous masculinity. See, that truth cuts deep when you can look somebody dead in their eyes and know that they got a demon inside. Know that they need to be delivered. And it comes down to righteous men giving them a message and them making the right choice of what they're gonna do in that moment because their life could be slipping away. See, the world wants you to be distracted. 
wants you to be in a daze so you miss out on the kingdom. See, righteous masculinity is about speaking up on the deception and not buying into it and not buying into it. Closer to God Ministries, we tell you all about Tammuz, Nimrod, his birthday, December 25th. Most people don't want to hear that. They're not truth seekers. Tell you all about all these other deities that you need to stay away from. Everybody else gravitates towards what feels good. Closer to God Ministries, hey, I speak up on these 70 percent of women, almost 80 percent filing for divorces, 90 percent if they're educated. Sure is a lot of pride behind these women. And then they find out they're unprotected. Oh, yeah. This is why this stuff don't go viral. And I'm kind of glad because Revelations chapter seven says everybody ain't going to be saved. Everybody ain't going to make it. So this is why the world fears righteous masculinity. I could go on and on about why. They don't want righteous masculinity in politics. They don't want it in schools. They don't want it in corporate America. They don't want it in the White House. They don't want it worldwide. Because you know what you're going to get with righteous masculinity? You're going to get the message. Repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach for the remissions of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the spirit. You will have no other gods. Walk in the newness of life. Pray for strength and exhibit obedience as you submit yourself to the Most High Yah. Imagine if you heard that on the news. Somebody getting up there talking about what sin is instead of talking about what it ain't. Most of these guys don't even talk about sin, but they got titles that they won't be able to keep in the kingdom. Why? Because righteous masculinity is not upon them. See, righteous masculinity is... When you stand firm, you might entertain the suggestions that come from your woman, but she has no command authority over you because the only person you submit to is the most high Yah is a man. So when it comes to the order of things, everybody else got to fall in line or else I don't care if the rest of this world fall apart, but I'm going to be obedient to the will of the most high Yah. Don't let them fool you. A lot of these women in the church, Jezebel's, Delilah's, that Proverbs 5 spirit. Oh yeah, they may they may hoop and holler like they want a man of Yah, but a lot of them ain't built like that. A man of Yah, we're talking about Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Yahshua HaMashiach. A lot of these women may pray and be weeping over Tammuz, but they couldn't handle no good man. That's why they consistently gravitate toward these trash men, these doggone garbage men these weak, effeminate men that they end up not respecting. See, righteous masculinity don't let you play around with it. See, I know when the I know when the honeymoon phase is over for most of these men, that's when the gig is up for these women and the insults start coming. That's when the disrespect starts coming. Now that now that you have committed yourself unto them and the woman has become your god, now she will toy with you, manipulate you, boy toy, crack little jokes to try to break your spirit. Oh, you thought she was doing that to sanctify you like scripture says? No, 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 sir. See, righteous masculinity hits a little bit different. Righteous masculinity don't support the same things the world supports. All these abortions, got all these Christian women talking about, oh yeah, we support abortions, my body, my choice. Yeah, it is. It's your choice whether you want to go to the kingdom or go to hell or any one of them other seven judgments mentioned in Revelation. I tell you, righteous masculinity hits hard, hits hard. And and one thing about righteous masculinity, some people will take it as arrogance and things like that. But the most high Yah him says himself, if you want to boast about anything, boast in the Lord. Man, I ain't going to boast about no house, no car, no none of that. But I will boast in the Lord. Hallelujah. The one thing society and this westernized Roman Greco culture we live in fears is righteous masculinity. Closer to God Ministries kicking the gun barrel straight. Bow.